Use mathematical induction to prove the following statement for all positive integers n. So, step one. We're going to show that it is true when n is equal to 1 for the first term. So the first term of the left-hand side is 1 to the third, right? And then we want that to be true when n is 1. So I'm going to replace all the n's here with 1. 1 squared, 1 plus 1 squared over 4. So let's see if this is true. 1 to the third is 1. And this simplifies into 1 squared, which is 1. And then 2 squared, which is 4, over 4. And therefore, true. True for the first um, part, when n is equal to 1. So that the first term on the left, right, the first term on the left, matches the right when n is 1. That's step one. First term on the left matches the right-hand side when n is 1. Step two. I'm just going to keep pacing this so I have it in front of me. Step two, right? Uh, assume true when n is equal to k. Okay? Assume true for k, for n is equal to k, or you know, technically for sk, in other words, when n is equal to k. So on the left, I want the sum of the first k terms. So the first term is 1 to the third, the second term is 2 to the third, the third term is 3 to the third, plus the k term. And I assume that that is equal to the right-hand side when n is k. Okay, not bad, right? Now I have to show true for sk plus 1. So now this is one more term past this. So I have this on the left. 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 3 to the third plus k to the third. And then I have the term after that, which is the k plus 1. And then I'm showing that that's true. Showing that that's true when the right-hand side has n equal to k plus 1. So everywhere I see an n, I'm replacing it with a k plus 1. In parentheses, k plus 1, then plus 1. I put you know, brackets instead of double parentheses, but see, this is now a bracket. I put parentheses to say or show that I'm replacing n with k plus 1 over 4. And now I have to show this part. So here's the algebra. We assume that it's true for the kth term, which means that all of these, the sum of the first k terms, which is matching this, right, should be equal to this, right? So that means I can replace this whole thing with k to the third times k plus 1 to the second, all over 4. But the left-hand side also has this, so plus k plus 1 to the third. And that is equal to k plus 1 squared times the quantity k, I'm just going to make that k plus 1 plus 1, k plus 2 squared over 4. Um, so let's see if we could show this. So the right-hand side is a single fraction, the left-hand side is not. So I'm going to start with bringing them together into a single fraction. So this is technically over 1 now, and the common denominator is 4, so this is going to need 4. So let's do that part. Um, can I bring this to the next page just so I have space? 
So I'm going to rewrite this. k to the third times k plus 1 to the second over 4 plus 4 times k plus 1 to the third 4 times k plus 1 to the third over 4 is equal to, or should be equal to, k plus 1 squared, I'm just copying it down, I just need the space, right, over k plus 2 squared. Check my work, make sure I didn't make any errors. And let's see where we go from here. So, I see an error. Does anybody else see an error? I see my error here. When I did my k term, the sum of the first k terms, 1 to the third plus 2 to the third plus 2, right? Plus k to the third. That should be equal to this when n is k, but what did I do here? I accidentally put a 3 when it should be squared, which means that that's going to change this, should be squared. So I always double check and triple check my stuff, especially in these, just because obviously it's easy to make mistakes. So let me uh, check that here, let me correct that. So one more check, because this has to work out. If I did something like that, it's not going to work out. So k squared, k plus 1 squared over 4. That's this part, k squared, k plus 1 squared. This is the k plus 1 term. k plus 1 squared, k plus 1 plus 1. Okay? Now, let's see what we got here. So if I bring these two together, I have k squared times k plus 1 squared plus 4 times k plus 1 to the third all over 4. And that's supposed to be equal to k plus 1, the quantity squared, times k plus 2, the quantity squared over 4. I see what I need to do. This is the cool algebra stuff here. I notice from jump that I have a third degree k plus 1, and none of these have degree 3. And I do know that I have a cool factoring situation, factoring binomials, like where um, when I did here, factoring binomials. It's almost like taking you back to factor by grouping concept. So here's what I'm going to do, and you tell me if I'm allowed to. I'm not going to change this. k squared times k plus 1, the quantity squared, plus 4 times... I'm going to rewrite this as k plus 1 squared times k plus 1. Is that legal? Can I do that? Is it the same thing that I started with? And the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to decrease. I'm trying to decrease, um, you know, these exponents. I'm hoping that it works out nicely. This supposedly is equal to this. So this is the same thing, right? k plus 1 squared times k plus 1 is the same thing as k, time, uh, k plus 1 to the third. The reason I did that, though, is now I could factor out, if you see it, I could factor out this, you know, k plus 1 squared thing, because both of them have that. So let's see if that helps me. At least it's going to get me this part, because I'm trying to get here. So I have this k plus 1 squared that I'm factoring out. And when I factor it out, I have left here, I took this out, k squared plus, took this out, so I have a 4 times the quantity k plus 1. All over 4. And I think that that did it for me. When I simplify this, I get k squared plus distribution of the 4. 
4k plus 4. All of the 4. Supposedly equal to this thing, this k plus 1 squared, k plus 2 squared, all of the 4. I mean, I got the 4 on the bottom, but I want. I got the k plus 1 squared that I want. I need this part, k plus 2 squared. That's where I'm trying to go with this. But I notice this is a perfect square trinomial. If I factor it, it is k plus 2 times k plus 2. So therefore, now I have the left-hand side matching the right-hand side. And I just proved that statement through mathematical induction, right? This statement, the sum of the nth term of this series is equal to this formula. It's true for the first term equal to when n is 1, that works, right? Um, assume that it was true for the kth term. Using that, we proved that it was true for the k plus 1th term. And therefore, we proved that that statement was true. Um, this is the fun part of it. This is the part here. So, first of all, the hardest part of mathematical induction is to remember that you're going to replace this sum of the first k terms this part, number two, is helping you prove number three. You need to replace this part in number three with this statement. But then after that, once you do that, now it's all algebra. But you're going to have these cool algebra tricks pop up. So there's like two tricks involved. This trick and then something happening here with factoring or whatever kind of algebra situation to manipulate into what you want. That's the fun part of it.